Welcome back, folks. Right, so, uh, Cape Rugby TV. Um, we've taken a look now at the matches between Durban and Tigerberg and Bracken for the Hamlets. And just a reminder for all the clubs that are out there, send us your games. Um, and, of course, we'll be happy to include your primary sponsor logo on the screen. And then, of course, you have that opportunity to really give something back to your uh, back to your sponsors. But, yeah, big thanks, of course, on uh, for... Uh, the, the folks that are partners with, with Cape Rugby TV score energy drinks of course as you know you can win yourself that new case of score in this case we've got the dry lemon flavor up for grabs Decro paints you can see it behind me there Decro of course brings paints to life now on board with Cape Rugby TV and of course a big uh, supporter of um, um, a club rugby in fact and uh, we're looking forward to finding out more about Decro paints as we uh, continue with the show. And of course, MCHEM 24 Hour Pharmacy. You can see it behind me there now. Well, you know, every week we take a look at what's happening at MCHEM 24 Hour Pharmacy. Right, let's quickly take a look at, then at the logs in uh, Super League B. And uh, as you can see, uh, well, Franchuk is sitting at the top of the pile now um, with All Saints in second place, followed by Belleville, Kylemore, SK Warmers, Hands and Hearts, Strand, Belhar, CPUT sitting at nine. Let's take a look now, folks, at the results in uh, Super League C. And um, some big results here then over the weekend. Albion's 23-22 of Eersterafield. Blue Stars went down to Goodwood, 38 points to 19. Busy Bees went down to Macassar and Scottsdale with a win over Blue Jets, 43 points to 10. In the Northern League, we saw Strand United 24-12 over Stellenbosch Coronations. Wraithby Universals went down to Salorians. And Blakes with a one-point win over Windmill United, while Excelsior uh, scored a 40 points to 27 win over Gordons Bay Pioneers. In the City League, it was Manenberg Rangers with a win over Violets. Caledonian Roses with a 20 points to... No well, in fact, I think that draw was that uh, match was called off. And then, of course, Silver Tree 34-17 uh, over Police. I think, uh, Jerome, um, or Faisal, let's start with you. One of the matches that jumps out for me there, mm. Manenberg Rangers with a win over Violets, 13-0. No, that's always a tight game, always very tough in that end. I think, you know, it was played out at Primrose Park. Um, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I was looking at, you know, some of the comments of the referee, very good game. Um, yeah, and that, you know, on the day, any team wins. I mean, uh, Violets has been challenging in the last year, really coming back to form. Manenberg Rangers had a couple of rough spots last year. To come out with a result like that, against a, a, a star outfit like Violets is a good result. No, definitely. I think, JP, the one good thing about, you know, the competition, if you look at the format, you know, you mm. can have a bad season and in the following year you can pick up, you know, yeah, and then you'll yeah, be yeah. a lot more competitive. Yeah. So I think, you know, Manenberg, you know, like you said, you know, Violets is always there on the top. It's always in the top nine. I think Manenberg this year is going to surprise us. <laughs> well, we're always looking forward to surprises. Now let's take a look at the results in the Southern League. Uh, Titans 14-7 over Young Stars. Thistles with a win over Retreat. Atlantis 26-21 over Young Wesleys. Rocklands uh, with a win over Northerns. Lagunia with a 58-30 win over Peninsula. And then, of course, uh, Retreat 29-8 over Lagunia. In the PAR region, Young Standards 47-15 over Allendale. Simondium went down to Violets Powell. Peril United went down to Young Gardens. And Powell Rangers... Well, they went down to Lower Pal. I think that's the one that jumps out for me, Faisal, is that derby match really between Lower Pal and Pal Rangers. Those two teams have been dominating in the Pal region, although this year we see Young Gardens is already at the top of the pile. Young Gardens has come out guns blazing, so to speak, in, um, in this league, but P Lower Pal will be very happy with that derby result. No, definitely. Uh, you know, they're always a team that always there on top. Uh, you know, Pal, Pal Rangers, Lower Pal... Um, but now again, like you said, it's always good to see also Young Gardens and that. And I think when you look at the league, that's what you're looking for. You yeah. want, you know, yeah. you want a good balance in terms of the teams and that. There. So again, the good thing with the Paul region, you know, unlike the other leagues, you know, you've got the uh, home ground advantage uh, single round competition, yes, whereas yes. Paul, yes. you've got a double round. So of course they can play home and away. Both teams uh, play well, home and strictly speaking, it's all home games. Well, They're playing out in Paul, <laughs> yeah. but I think the good thing is you have a second bite at the cherry yeah, in yeah, terms yeah. of you know second round in terms of what happens in that. Fans so, love that. Fans no, love that. Hundred percent. Yeah. I think it, it also gives you know people love it, but I think the one good thing the good thing is you have another chance. Mm. Whereas a single round competition, it's a once off, you know, yeah. so it makes it exciting. Well, so, let's, yeah. take a look, um, let's take a look at the fixtures coming up then this weekend in Super League A. We see uh, Unimill up against Villages, Hamlets up against St. George's, and Brackenfell take on Hamilton's. 
In Super League B, Vineyard's up against Carlemore. Strand take on CPUT. Young Peoples and Collegians, SK Warmers and Hands and Arts, Lunga and All Saints, Primrose and Franz Hook. While in Super League C, we see Goodwood up against Krafontein, Rangers up against Busy Bees, and Peniel Villagers up against Masi Pumalele. Morningstar takes on Albion's and Eerste Refere against Scottsdean. While in the Southern League, it's Rocklands against Atlantis. Right, um, Jerome, we're going to go straight to the barometer here now. Our first um, barometer lineup that we've got for you here is um, the match between uh, Brackenfell and uh, Hamilton's. Uh, this is a big match this weekend. You just saw the you just saw the highlights of the, the Brackenfell um, against uh, Hamlet's game. The barometer tells us that um, <coughs> Brackenfell is going to win this game 33 points to 11. Now, let me quickly run through that for you, for, for the fans as well. Folks, if you're looking at this at the screen right now, I'll quickly run it run for, for you. And there you can see on the screen what it's telling us is that um, currently Brackenfell is number four on the log. Hamilton's is number 11 on the log. That's on the right-hand side. Um, Brackenfell's got 15 log points, while Hamilton's has got six log points. Now, you've got to look at the home and away averages. Right. So we, what we are doing is we're giving a certain number of points for each one of those statistics. And we're going to put this on Facebook because we want, to get, we want your opinion on this. So if you're better at home than the other team is away, we give you five points. If you've got more points against you than um, your away team has uh, against them, we give that to you uh, as a defense factor. If you've got more points for you, we give you five points for your attack factor. And we also look at win, losses, and draws. So if you've had more wins, losses, or draws, you get a certain, you get five points um, for, a, for a win, you get uh, three points for a draw, and two points for a loss. And we also take into account the number of tries. So in this case, Jerome, uh, the fan factor is heavily in favor of Brackenfell, and the barometer says that Brackenfell is going to win this match three to one. Yeah, look, fan factor might play a little bit of a but I think Hamilton, Hamilton's also travel with their fans, so might be a bit even there. And I think Hamilton's um, uh, started to play really good rugby, so yeah. they're picking up their game. So it's going to be interesting. Uh, I think, um, like I said, the last two games, Hamilton's were really playing good rugby, so it's going to be a tough one uh, for Brackenfeld, Ed Brackenfeld. Another big game this coming weekend is going to be Unimal up against Villagers. Unimal is looking to, to start putting some, some uh, points on the board. The barometer says, however, that Villages is stronger away from home um, than uh, Unimal is at home. Uh, Jerome, the, the barometer tells us that it is, in fact, in favor. This match goes in favor of Villages. Yeah, I think you're right on this one. <laughs> I think um, Unimal is struggling a bit. Unimal is struggling a bit. Well, they, they, they're still going to... I'm not so sure. I think they've had a, uh, maybe a bit of a rough, a, a rough ride so far. But um, Because when, when I looked at that match against UCT, I thought that the match against UCT was much closer than the points actually uh, gave us. But, but Villagers has, uh, Faisal Villagers has made a name for themselves already in the season. No, definitely. I think they've stepped up. they also there in the top, in the top runnings. But I, I mean, I'm listening now to the predometer and everything else. That I've lost you. I think we're going to start there. <laughs> so I think I still believe, you know, that the hunger is the fan, but I think the team, you know, looking at the Hamiltons and stuff, like Jerome says, there's a vast improvement. I think they know they need to win. Uh, I think when you start off, you said they're lying there in 11th position, and, you know, it's not to be expected. We always think that Hamiltons will be on top. So I think they owe something there to the fans, to the people to be up there. And on the Hamiltons game? Though. On the Hamiltons game, yeah. and yeah. I think also on the Villagers game. Yeah. Everybody knows Villagers is a strong, con um, you know, contender, and they're also vying there on top. I think Milnerton's got to come out, and they're going to... They're going to surprise us, They're Jerome. going to surprise us. Well, another match that is um, uh, interesting for us to look at is, and looking back now at Tigerberg, Hamlet's game. This week, Hamlet's are playing against uh, St. George's Jerome. And um, in this case, the Hamlet's has got home ground advantage. St. George's has to travel a long distance. They're playing in Hamlet's. They're playing in Marmaray. Mm. The barometer tells us that um, it's a 20 to 13 or 2 to 1, the odds are for Hamilton, at least Hamlet's winning this game. Yeah, I, I will agree with you on that mm -hmm. on that one because uh, I think um, Hamlet's also start yeah. to they need they need points. It's yeah. home ground advantage for them. Both teams can run, 
on the day it's just how you work out your defense mm. uh, because both teams like to run the ball which is good for rugby yeah. but the the team they defend well will actually win the game yeah. Jerome your plans for the weekend yeah look there's so much so many games that um, you can pick off to go to so we'll get to the games and then obviously head off to the stadium to go watch luckily that ga the <laughs> game at the stadium is late Wait till everybody settled in in the stadium, and when the traffic is gone, I'll make my way to the stadium after <laughs> watching club <laughs> rugby. <laughs> yeah, Faisal, on your side, I suppose you guys are going to have your hands full working at the stadium this weekend. No, definitely. I think, firstly, it starts on Friday. If you've got the ladies playing out at uh, Atlan Stadium, yes. I must say, fantastic stadium. Was there last week? Uh, uh, yeah. It was awesome. Your, your, your Curry Cup side took a win against uh, the Pumas, Pumas last week. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. I think that was a good win. And again, I think this week, you know, playing against the Lions is going to be awesome. The Friday evening games is definitely, you know, it's great to be out there. <laughs> and then, yeah, the Saturday, the one thing is SK Warmers also playing against Hands and Arts next to the track. So if you're out early and you're making your way to the stadium and you want to get to the stadium early, make your way out to watch the SK Warmers Hands and Arts so game. So it's between the Atlan Stadium and it's between the Cape Town Stadium, it's between the track. Uh, and of, yeah, it's, it's just rugby <laughs> everywhere. So, Jerome, thanks for joining us. We'll catch you again next week. Always a pleasure. And I hope, I hope uh, Faisal makes some predictions. I hope he's back here next week. Yeah, and Faisal, yeah, looking forward to having you back. Uh, definitely, definitely we'll be back. There we go, fantastic. <laughs> there we go, folks. That's a wrap from us then uh, today as we wrap up uh, Club Rugby. It's been great to have you with us. We'll talk to you again next week. Same time, same place. A fantastic rugby weekend. Bye-bye.